An Emirates Airbus A380 aircraft sustained significant damage after it made contact with a ground vehicle at Moscow Domodedovo Airport. The aircraft was preparing for a flight to Dubai, which was eventually cancelled. Judging by pictures doing the rounds on social media, it seems the plane could be in Moscow for some time to undergo repairs. On March 27th, an Emirates flight from Moscow Domodedovo Airport to Dubai International had to be cancelled after the aircraft was damaged by a ground vehicle. The Airbus A380 was preparing to operate flight EK-134. Images from social media show a yellow service vehicle wedged under the superjumbo, severely damaging its belly. The structural damage is quite evident, and at the time of this video's production, several days after the incident, the jet remains on the ground. Thankfully, there have been no reports of any injuries to passengers. Simple Flying received a statement from Emirates that said, Emirates flight EK-134 has been cancelled due to a ground services vehicle making contact with the aircraft prior to passengers boarding. All affected passengers have been rebooked on a later Emirates flight. Emirates regrets any inconvenience caused. The safety of its passengers and crew is of paramount importance. So how exactly does a driver collide with the largest commercial passenger aircraft ever built? After all, the sheer size of the superjumbo makes it extremely hard to miss. Was it a miscalculation in height? Complete distraction? Well, according to Russian news agency Interfax, the truck driver had a medical episode. Discussing the news, Business Insider quotes an airport representative as reporting an acute sudden deterioration in the driver's health. Meanwhile, Russian newspaper MASH reported through its Telegram channel that the 59-year-old driver had suffered a stroke. The aircraft involved in the incident is an almost 14-year-old Airbus A380 registered Alpha 6 Echo Delta Mike. The aircraft was delivered to Emirates in September 2010 and seats 489 passengers in a three-cabin configuration, 399 in economy, 76 in business class and 14 in first class. Over the years, Echo Delta Mike has accumulated almost 46,000 flight hours across 5,678 flight cycles. It remains to be seen how long it stays in Moscow for repairs. Now, it'll be a costly task to get the aircraft back into service, but it's also not the end of the world for Emirates, which has yet to activate 100% of its available A380 fleet. The airline has 116 A380s, and Planespotters.net notes that 28 of these are parked. Of course, one of these parked jets is our incident aircraft, and several others are undergoing routine maintenance. However, there are still a few simply sitting in storage, either at Dubai International Airport or Dubai World Central Airport. If Emirates needs the capacity, it should be able to reactivate one of these parked jets, although it might take some time. But what do you think of this news? Leave a comment and let us know. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.